Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, it's going to be a simple haul video. I picked up six films this week, uh, one or two very nice looking steelbooks and some good movies in there as well. Uh, and instead of kind of just doing individual videos for the steelbooks, I thought, you know what, throw them into a haul video. Uh, I'll also share my thoughts on the films themselves and the 4K transfers as well. So uh, yeah, some nice pickups this week. So uh, let's get started. Let's not waste any time. So we're going to start on a positive note. So the first film is Amityville The Awakening. Yes, it's that bad. I have absolutely nothing positive to say about this movie. Uh, it's plush, it's lack of scares, lack of suspense. God awful movie. Um, it's produced by Jason Blum. Uh, and it's a shame because Jason Blum does some great, but uh, he does produce some great horror movies out there. But this one is it's just shocking i can't believe how bad it actually is uh the film itself look it's based in the film is based in the real world and all the other amateur films that actually came out before this movie are all seen as fiction in this movie so there'll be scenes in the movie where you actually see them watching the cast of this movie watching the amateur horror i just find it to be absolutely stupid i don't even know why they do that uh for the film itself it's the same old thing uh a new family moves into the house uh there is a son in this family who is who is brain dead and of course the house possesses him and he slowly starts to recover and they all think it's a miracle but you know it's not it's the house that's doing it to him and i don't have to tell you where this film is going to go you just know exactly where it's going to go uh, it's an animal movie it's only one way it can go uh yeah it's just a it's a poor poor an excuse of a horror movie and uh yeah this one definitely belongs in the bin so yeah that's the amateur uh the awakening Right, up next we have, uh, this is going to be, people are going to be surprised by this because I'm such a massive John Carpenter fan, but this is the first time I've actually owned this film. Uh, we have got Body Bags. Now, this is a Spanish release. Uh, I made that mistake again, completely forgot about my own advice, not a buying from Amazon Spain, especially releases like this, because there's a chance that you might get a bootleg edition. And going by this edition, I think I might have got burnt again. Uh, especially when you hear the, the audio in the first uh, the first story, uh, the audio doesn't sound too great. So um, yeah, I made that mistake again, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this is a John Carpenter movie. He directs two of the stories in this. It's a horror anthology movie. Uh, John Carpenter directs the first two, and Tobe Hooper directs the third movie. So the first story is called The Gas Station. It's just this uh, woman that starts... Uh, she starts the night, sh night shift in this kind of uh, gas station that's out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, she's been stalked by this kind of serial killer. Uh, the second story is called Hair. And it's about um, this man's obsession about losing his hair. And he wants to get... He wants... To, yeah, he just wants hair. And he goes to this clinic that uh, basically performs a miracle. And uh, he wakes up the next day and he has full full blown hair. Uh, but it comes at a cost. It costs, but I'm not going to say anything more about it. And then the sec third story is called The Eye, and that stars Mark Hamill. So that's this one's directed by Tor Pooper. And Mark Hamill is a a, ba a baseball player who gets into an accident uh, where he ends up losing his eye, and he gets an <laughs> an eye an eye transplant. And of course, the the eye they put into him is the eye of a serial killer. So all of a sudden, he starts seeing what this serial killer did. Uh, in a previous life and of course he starts turning so uh, the three stories are good they really are tough. it's a fun movie but i have to admit it's john carpenter he john carpenter is kind of like the crypt keeper of this movie he's the one that introduces the stories and uh he's very very funny in it and it's definitely worth just checking out for john carpenter segments in it quite brilliant uh, there's a lot of cameos in this film as well wes craven actually appears in it as well in the first story uh, you even got, you know, the likes of Deborah Harry's in there, Stacey Keish is in there as well. Tobe Hooper even makes a, a, an acting performance as well. And Tom Arnold, I think, as well, funny enough. So, uh, yeah, look, it's a fun John Carpenter movie. If you haven't checked it out, do check it out. It's definitely worth your time. So, uh, yeah, that is Body Bags. Right, up next, we have two films that are very, very similar. And you'll see ex exactly what I mean when I show them. But the first one up we're going to show is uh, Debt Wish with Bruce Willis. So this is the remake. Uh, it's directed by Eli Roth. I have to admit, I had I had a fun time with this movie. Now I'm just gonna say it. Look, it's nothing near as good as the Charles Bronson movies. Uh, it doesn't even come remotely close. Uh, but maybe because my expectations were so low for this movie, uh, I actually found some enjoyment from it. 
But no, it's yeah. It, if you're into your, you know, your vigilante movies, I think you might get a kick out of this movie. Um, it's yeah. Bruce Willis's family they get they get attacked by these three lads that break into the house, where it results in them killing his wife and then leaving the daughter in a coma. And of course, Bruce Willis is not happy with what the cops are doing, so he takes the law into his own hands and he starts hunting down the people that basically killed his wife. Uh, it's a it's a good movie. It's an Eli Roth movie. I don't have to tell you. It's, Expect violence, and trust me, there is violence in this movie. There is some, there is some very bad scenes. It has to be said. Uh, the 4K transfer in this movie, uh, yes, this is a 4K release. I got it from Amazon Germany. Uh, the 4K transfer is very decent. It, I'm really surprised by it. It's also got Dolby Vision as well, and uh, it was definitely pleasing to the eye. And uh, yeah, very happy that I picked it up. I was a bit skeptical. I just thought when I, you know, when you see, like again, I've always said this, when you see 4K movies out in Germany that's not available anywhere else. You get a do you do get a little bit worried, but no, look, it's a it's a good looking 4K disc, and uh, if you're a fan of this movie, definitely worth picking up. So that was Death Wish. Now onto the film that's almost identical to Death Wish, and we have got uh, Death Sentence. Uh, so this is directed by James Wan, uh, starring Kevin Bacon. The exact same movie again. It's the, his his son, uh, J Kevin Bacon's son, gets killed in this. Uh, I think it's a um, gas station. He gets killed in. And Kevin Bacon takes it into his own hands to take out the people that actually were behind his son's death. And that's it. It's That's that's the movie, just like Death Wish. Uh, this one is definitely executed a hell of a lot better uh, than Death Wish. Uh, James Wan, you know, it's he just shows goes to show in this movie that he's not all about horror as well yes i know he directed aquaman and he done a fast and furious movie but they were part of franchises this is just your no your good old-fashioned vigilante thriller movie and again he done a wonderful job in this and uh some violent moments in this film as well i'm not going to lie just give you a heads up but it's a great movie and kevin vipakin puts in a fantastic performance so uh yeah that is death sentence uh do check it out Right, on to my last two, and uh, two Steelbooks, two 4K releases. Um, <clears throat> I was waiting to get this for a long time. So we've got uh, Looper. Uh, yes, another uh, Bruce Willis movie. Um, I've kind of gone through a bit of a Bruce Willis phase after hearing the news of him retiring from acting uh, due to illness. And uh, when you kind of hear of what's happened to him now, uh, you start to understand why maybe he was taking on such taking on them terrible movies that he's been taking on for the last couple of years. It kind of just puts it all into perspective a bit. So uh, yeah, this one I've been dying to get this on 4K. Uh, I remember seeing the film. I've seen it once. I've seen it on Blu-ray when it first came out. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. It's a good sci-fi time traveling movie. Uh, the cast in it is fantastic. Like I said, you got Bruce Willis, you got Drew, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who is fantastic in this movie. Uh, you've got the great Emily Blunt as well, and I love her performance as well in this movie. And uh, the 4K transfer in this movie is very pleasing. I have to admit, I was I was expecting a very run of the mill 4K transfer, but um, no, it's it's very good. It, look, it is a 2K DI, um, but there's something about it. Look, the, the picture the picture quality is it's grainy at times. It can be very grainy at times. But it's also very pleasing to the eye. Uh, the picture looks incredibly sharp and the, the colours, the HDR colours are, yeah, they really are amazing. Uh, so this was a, this is a big upgrade over that previous Blu-ray. Uh, the only downside was there was no Dolby Atmos, you got a DTS 5.1. But having said that, the audio still sounds fantastic in it. So uh, yeah, that is Looper and it's a very nice looking steelbook. I think this is a Zavi exclusive, uh, but I ended up picking it up on eBay. So uh, yeah, that is Looper, great movie. And then the last film that I'm going to be showing off, and this film, this film was a surprise, but the Steelbook as well is just absolutely extraordinary. So we've got uh, Death on the Nile. Yeah, um, I was really surprised by this film. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Um, it is nothing near as bad as what I was hearing. Uh, is it as good as Murder on the Orient Express? No, definitely not. It just doesn't have the cast that that film had. But I have to admit, Kenneth Branagh, he done such a wonderful job in this movie. Uh, the way it's shot and everything, it just looks, it just goes to, sh it just shows you how talented of a director Kenneth Branagh is. Uh, the film itself, look, it's a run-of-the-mill murder mystery movie. Uh, we knew exactly where this film was going. We had, we knew from the get-go who, uh, you know, who was doing it. Uh, there was no surprise there. But like I said, it was just so perfectly executed by Kenneth Branagh. 
that it just kept you moving along. It just you just stuck with the story, and um, it was enjoyable. I think a lot of people were complaining about Gal Gadot in this movie. Um, I kind of see what the people are talking about. You know, when you look at her with the rest of the cast, maybe her acting is a little bit lacking. But you know, look, I didn't I didn't really have too much trouble with her in, in my opinion. Uh, but the 4K transfer, the 4K transfer is the real winner here. Uh, I never thought I'd see a film that would rival Murder on the Orient Express uh, when it came to picture quality. Like it's like uh, it's def Murder is definitely up there and probably my top five. Uh, this film just might squeeze in my top five now as well. It looks extraordinary. Uh, the palette of this film is incredibly warm. Where when you look at the Murder on the Orient Express, it's a very cool looking palette. So two very different looking movies, but my God, when you see the opening sequence to this movie, it's in black and white. And people were always asking me, you know, is there a, is there a point to 4K in black and white? Look at the opening sequence of this film and that will answer your question. It's a huge yes. Uh, but I have to admit, when it, gets to the, when it gets to Egypt, oh my God, the picture quality is just absolutely extraordinary. Uh, just from sharpness to just the resolution, the, the colors, the beautiful HDR colors just look absolutely amazing um my good friend John Clancy actually done a video on this uh just he done like a name in a video just based on this movie and what I will do to you is I do is I'm going to leave a link in the description below I'm going to send you over to John's channel uh he talked he would he delved into this a lot more than I ever could do uh it was a fantastic video but I have to admit it sounds like the two of us were very very happy with its 4k transfer and he seemed for the most part seemed to enjoy the movie so if he's could do please go over to John's channel. Again, link in the description below. Uh, you're going to love what he says about this film. So that is it, folks. That is it. That is my pickups. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on some of these movies. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. So take care, folks. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.